One, one of the features on the Moto X is called Active Display. And what Active Display does is presents the user with what they need to know rather than a, a, a blinking light that just basically causes anxiety. And this Active Display feature is architected uh, in a way with our XA technology that it doesn't, it, it doesn't drain battery performance and it comes on when you need it on. So as I turn the device over, it recognizes that, hey, I've opened it up and here you can see some meaningful information breathing on the screen I'm presented with both the time and a couple notifications and it appears I've missed a text message as I tap that I now have another splash of information showing the specific items I missed but here you can see this message from Rachel I simply slide up and boom it takes me right into that application and then from this point I can respond to Rachel's text message and the beauty of this is is we have the ability with our XA technology to only fire up and light up certain pixels on the display. So where most users to check that notification need to turn their device completely on, open up the applications processor, completely fire up the display, that is definitely not battery friendly, but how we've architected it is amazingly battery friendly. That's what we call active display. Next, I'll demo what we call touchless control. And this is a feature that basically allows you to trigger voice, uh, Google, Google Now voice commands, all without having to touch the device. Let's try a demo. Okay, Google Now, what time is it? Let me get a little closer, we have some background noise here. Okay, Google Now, what time is it? is 1.47 p.m. As you can see, I was able to do that all without touching the device. Okay, Google Now, navigate to Times Square. Navigating to Times Square, New York, New York. And I have the ability, if I want to cancel out, I can do that, or it will elegantly go into a navigation session. And, of course, you can take advantage of any of the Google features, so there are some Easter eggs built in uh, on the Google side. So, for example, okay, Google Now, do a barrel roll. And there we have a barrel roll. That's what we call touchless control. An additional feature that I'll show you is what we call quick capture. And what we found is that users were often fumbling through uh, trying to launch their camera and the result of that was they were often missing the shot. So with the, just the twist of a wrist, we're able to launch our camera and get immediately into the application. And then even taking it a step farther is the user's ability to just simply tap anywhere on the screen and capture a picture. Let's give it a shot. Two twists of the wrist. We're in the viewfinder. A simple tap on the screen. Captures the picture and boom, elegantly into the viewfinder and there we have it. Also with quick capture, we give the user settings, easily accessible on the left side of the device. And another cool feature we have here is the ability to do multi-shot with just a simple press and hold. And there you can see we're getting multiple shots. Swipe back into the gallery and enjoy your pictures. That's what we call quick capture. Thank you very much.